Hello everybody, welcome back to Bellatro's Road to 100% last time. We smashed our way through a challenge without any resistance. Now let's continue on our ascent through the deck. So blue is all done, yellow we have a reasonable progress on. Green, I don't think I've done green since the first time I played it. At the end of each round, $2 per remaining hand, $1 per remaining discard, earn no interest. Small blind gives no rewards, white stake is standard. All right then. Let's see what we can do with the green deck. I don't need free rerolls. Uh, a queen would be great. Uh, I feel like we're more likely to get towards a full house. And would you look at that? So this is going to be like $8. Yes. Three chips per diamond discarded diamond card. I mean, for something like this, taking it super duper early is probably for the best. Obviously, that suit will change every round. However, it is going to cost me money in my discards to make that happen, which is an interesting trade off for sure. And I need a nine. Well, we get three pair. There's the nine I wanted. Fortunately, two pair is going to save the day. It's just not going to leave us with very much money for the next round to do very much with yada yada yada. Doubles all probabilities, level up flushes. It's not great stuff. Right, we'll level up flushes. If we have to use a flush to win the next round, so be it. Minus one hand size, because of course. They want me to discard clubs. I'm just going to play this flush. Uh, full house words. Um, and we have four spades here. So with the extra value in flush, this will get us where we're going. Six dollars back from that one. I do like hologram. Right, we might have to play some more flushes for a hot minute until we can add some cards to the deck. We want to discard sixes and hearts. Well, I'm clearly not going to not play this. Then diamonds. So we want to add some cards and get some base multiplier, and then we might just about be okay. <laughs> well. All the economy jokers in the world. I mean, I'll take it, but it's going to be touch and go. This could let me put stuff into hologram. Grim is two cards for hologram. So that's a 1.5x multiplier now. Uh, that's a lot of tens. You want me to discard twos? You want me to discard hearts? Hearts are debuffed, so that's not going to do anything. Uh, but our flushes are a higher level, so I think I'm just going to look for those spades. Please level up my flush. Well, we didn't need it, but... I need some more of something. Create a copy of a random joker, destroy all others, destroy one card and get more aces. I wouldn't mind a second copy of hologram. 
Because right now, all of this is not doing very much for me. You know what? Let's get wild. Alright, so these are both on 1.5. Then I'm going to need something else to help me out here. Alright, that will keep us moving for a little while. Still probably focusing on flushes. And this will go just fine. Uh, standard pack lets us put a card in the deck for these guys. Sure. And a polychrome ace will be the one. We now have seven aces in the deck. This is for odds, so might as well play all of the odds. Nice. Gonna keep going. All clubs are debuffed. Fine, we won't do clubs. Come on now. There's, <laughs> there's got to be some more spades in here somewhere. Thank you. Malt, odd, malt, odd, malt, odd, odd, and the base one we have. More of that is what we need. More of that. I could go for this. The one card, the discard we use, is worth a dollar to us. Using this gets three dollars. And it thins out the deck to make it easier to find the things that we do want. I'll open the buffoon pack, because if we find something good, we can get rid of Joker. It's nothing great. I don't want to get down to my final hand of the round, because I want the money that I have from maintaining my hands. And I'm going to use my discards all the time, so green isn't going to work out here. Amazingly, I think this is just a skip. It's lame. But it is what it is. Okay, double my money. No thanks, I want to get rid of something. I want to get rid of a boring even card. Do I have... I have more spades than anything else. I have a polychrome ace of clubs, so let's get rid of a three of diamonds. Well, that was rough. Alright, I'm going to play the two pair here. I'm hoping just it will be enough. Just barely. Mega Buffoon Pack. This should be better. DNA is incredible with Hologram. So, you're out. You're in. Uh, I think we need some malt, though. So, you're out. You're in. And we'll see how we go with that. So, the first hand played has only one card. Add a permanent copy of the to the deck and draw it to hand. So, we could get another one of these nines. Or, we could look for the really impressive stuff. Well, we can use our discards before using our opening hand.
All right. Let's go with this. Both of these guys get larger at that point, which is lovely. If I could turn that polychrome ace into a spade, I'd feel much happier about it, but we'll see what we can do. Not diamonds. Discard two cards when hand played. Um, I can make more aces clubs. That's fine. And you know what? I think quads with Odd Todd will be just fine. We don't need to be playing flushes. It just so happened that we needed the flushes in the early game. I'll take an extra discard because that's worth an extra dollar to us when we use them. Standard pack. Give me the odd card. If I can find a fancy ace, I'd prefer to play a copy of a fancy ace. This isn't as fancy as I was hoping. So we'll do the club. And then I think this will be 5,000 points. Indeed. I guess I'm not really accounting for how quickly hologram is growing. All right, you got me. Oh, it wasn't enough. All right, nothing wrong with a little full house either. We are up to 11 aces. Jumbo standard pack. Me, the steel queen. I don't find an interesting ace. Uh, I'll tell you what. We can make a copy of this queen in steel. Take the odd card over the even card. Very good, very nice. Cash is not ever being a problem, which I'm very glad to see. Um, I'm going to take... Michelle. I'm also going to take Magic Trick because we can just fund Hologram even further with those. Um, double my money or take one extra card from DNA. I take the card from DNA. If Ace High does 12,000 Trip Aces should do even more. Indeed it does. Banana is safe. Standard pack. A glass nine. A three. Uh, I want something to clone. thinking about this queen again. Go on then. Alrighty. Unless we get some terrible draws, I think we're going to be smooth sailing through this. Another standard pack. Another ace. No repeat hand types this round. 
So if we play high card for DNA, we can't play high card again. I suspect it's not going to be a problem. Indeed. Uh, popcorn is not bad, but we don't need it. Standard pack again. Now I'm getting greedy. I may well take that negative in a second, though. That's going to be our first five of a kind aces, allowing the planet card for planet X to appear. Uh, mega standard pack is two cards. These are a 6x each. What was I ever worried about? First hand is drawn face down is a bummer. I want to preserve as much money as I can from all of my stuff for the benefit of this negative to come. So this full house, I'm hoping will just be enough. We're not going to DNA because I want the extra $2 from the hand. <laughs> yep, we're okay. Wow. If nothing else... It does give us something to sell against the nasty boss, if it was the nasty boss, but it's not. Uh, give me... Give me the ace. It's fine. I don't need more glass nines or anything. In fact, ace high is 40k, so, you know, there's that too. Oh, hello. I'm glad we got to copy it eventually. The banana is extinct. Wow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we got some juggling to do. That's a problem. I know this is one of my holograms. I know this is DNA. The other four in the middle, it's a bit blurry. Um, do I want to DNA? I do, because when I DNA, I can see which things are the other hologram. So that's DNA. This is Brainstorm. So I can do that, and then everything should be dandy. Yep. We can go endless. Especially with Brainstorm Double Hologram. Another ace. So basically, we want to swap these two over between adding a card and then playing for score. Is the plan... Otherwise, we are just looking for unlocks that we don't have yet, which are um, brain, brain.
um, the two legendary salt card things that we need. Ridge trigger all face cards does not help me here. None of that stuff helps me. DNA on the left. Look for shiny ace. If it isn't the best shiny ace to find. Super. So we're probably getting to like anti-11 okay with this. Legendary? No legendary. I will do a mega celestial pack because if we can level up five of a kind... It's going to give us a higher base value for our polychromes to manipulate. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Uh, a bigger hand is Lush. Souls? No souls. So give me a glass. I can make this polychrome glass. And then we can utilize that down the line. Because if we're making more of them, then that's absolutely fine. DNA on the left. Discarding to hunt for better stuff. Don't really find it. Oh, we do. We do, we do. And then these three will each give plus four, which will then be 1.5x twice. You love to see it. This three is becoming a polychrome ace. There's part of me that doesn't want to make the deck any bigger than it already is, unless I'm making more of the polychrome aces, just because they become harder to find. What I could really go for right now is like blueprint. Blueprint would be hilarious. Soul? No soul. Um, more of these becoming glass then. And then more of these becoming polychrome aces. If that isn't a pretty sight to behold. All diamond cards are debuffed. That's fine. These aren't the glass ones. Do I want to try and find a glass one? Kinda. Alright, that'll do. You could say it's going smoothly. Oh, yes. Giant hand. Um, wow. Go glass there. Then we are definitely going to sell Odd Todd, which is plus 30 chips per ace, for Scholar, which is 20 chips per ace, plus 4 malt per ace. Uh, 3x of hand contains 3 of a kind. 
Now these are ten and a half X each, so I don't think so. Somehow. Um, I want to find one of my glass polychrome aces if I could. But I can't. That's fine. Let's make some copies. Oh. Let's make some copies of this. And we'll see how five polychrome aces do. Hundred and nine million is pretty good going, I would say. Foil on that guy is totally fine. Flush five might happen again. It's been known to happen. I cannot find any of my glass polychrome cards, but I guess the more of these I make, the fewer in relation of the other ones exist. But, you know, I can hardly complain about playing five polychrome aces. Alright, so we score 15 million against a goal of 10 million. Oh, campfire. I couldn't even fund campfire to be bigger than the other stuff that we have going on. Oh, did I not move hologram back in that last round where we didn't score very many points? It looks like I didn't. Uh, let's take this three. Make it into another polychrome ace. Hologram got moved to the left, which is good. Oh yeah, that's better. That's much better. Soul. No soul. Ninety-four cards. There's a lot of shiny aces. Gives a free Mega Arcana pack. Nah. Uh, that is a glass polychrome ace. That is what I've been looking for. Let's copy one first. Then make two more. Then we can hunt down more of the regular... Polychrome aces. I hope. Alright, what are we working with? Three regular polychromes, a glass polychrome, and a plus malt. I think that will be fine. It was not fine. And my glass broke. Which is scary. Alright, neither of those glasses broke, but... We live in uncertain times. Unless we just find a soul and tank the run that way. So far, no good. $50. $50 doesn't do very much for me. Right, I want to find 
a glass polychrome ace to make two. Oh, you're not. You're just a glass ace. That is not what I need. All right, then. Um, making two of these is better than these. And then we'll play them both. After three polychromes. These guys are up to times 13 now. Something broke, but we did just barely get past the 450 million mark. Thirteen and a half X on those guys. Oh, we don't even need a three X multiplier. Uh, we could ditch DNA at this point, I think. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with this development. That is a polychrome glass ace. There's a regular glass ace. How do we think this is going to go? Oh, two and a half billion, you know, nice and casual. Convert more of these polychromes over. Make the holograms as big as we can. Uh, 47 billion with a B. We might have some issues doing that. Honestly, I think we need to play this just to turn over cards and find the glass ones. <laughs> we need 47 billion. This was one billion. I think this is the end of our road, unless we draw three polychrome glass aces right now, which we did not. All right, two billion. Two billion points. But we get a stake sticker on our green deck up to green stake green deck next time, although that will be when it comes around in the rotation. For now, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.